doesn't work. Actually, it's been a while since I had a bath. doesn't work. Sod it! Another one of those doors without handles! Tradesman's entrance, I presume. I wonder what we traded him for. So, anyway, how's the wife? Oh, not so bad. How's yours? Oh, doing well, doing well. W we thought we might invite you two around for dinner tomorrow night. I've, I've made a chocolate cake, strawberry pudding and duck's foot casserole with leaf mould. I've made a chocolate cake, strawberry pudding and duck's foot casserole with leaf mould. Leaf mould? Oh, sorry. Uh, did I say leaf mould? Um, I meant caramel. Anyway, there'll be lashings of everything. You know the wife. She likes to cook. Yeah, but is this a good idea? I thought she was watching her weight. Why should she watch her weight? Well, you know, after last time, when she accidentally ate that camel. Oh, she's not overweight. She's just, uh, oh, she's just cuddly. Yeah, cuddly. Very, very cuddly. With humps. So, um, how's your wife then? Did she get that thing off her face? Thing? What thing? Uh, the hairy thing. That's a beauty spot, that is. Oh, oh, I see. A bit long for a beauty spot, isn't it, though? I mean, in area. Look, moustaches are supposed to be a sign of sensuality. What, on women? Listen, are you calling my wife ugly? No. Good. I'd have been ever so cross if you did. Could you just let me in, please? Clear off. Now, that's what I call a guarded conversation. Look, this is important. I demand that you two idiots let me go inside. Clear off. I don't think you should pay him any attention. That's love, that is. Pulling up with an old bag of a wife. What? Well, your friend here was saying how massively unattractive your wife actually is. No, just mostly unattractive. I'm, I'm sure she actually, she actually got in a beauty. Help! Greetings, lowly and scabby peasant. Hail, old pointy-hatted one, and less of the scabby, thank you. What's happening? We seek an audience with the patrician, the mighty ruler of Ankh Morpork. It's about this dragon, you see. He's making the cows dry up and all the curtains fade. What, really? Well, that's what our Agnes says. Anyway, who wants to have their family charboiled by a dragon? Suits hell to shift. 
Yes. Well, anyway, that's what old Uncle Agnes says. You can't go fairer than that. Uncle Agnes? Yeah. Yeah, Uncle. So you'd, uh... You describe him as a bit of a man, then? Hadn't really thought about it, to tell the truth. Now you come to mention it, I suppose we should have asked. We just married him off to one of those guards outside the gates. Well, that explains something. Greetings, love. Hey, hello, Paul. What's happening? We... It's... What, re well, that's what our... Yes. Well, anyway... Uncle Agnes? Yeah. So you'd... Uh... Hadn't really thought... Now you... Well, that explains something. Tired? Ooh, I give a pretty good foot massage. Now let's remain very, very calm about this, shall we? A quiet dinner, a relaxing evening watching the potions brew. I'm very good at toes, you know. How's about just a little sing-song? Don't suppose you know a wizard's staff has a knob on the end, do you? Hmm, mine hasn't, I can assure you. But I'll just rush off and check, just in case. Wait a minute, you're a thief. What are you doing here? Well... It's about my quota, see? Quota? The amount I'm allowed to steal. It's not enough. The dragon's been destroying housing, so rent just went through the roof. I mean, a 20% increase in theft quotas for the duration of the emergency seems a reasonable thing to ask, doesn't it? Depends if you're in the 20%. One of the remarkable innovations introduced by the patrician was to make the Thieves' Guild responsible for theft. With annual budgets, forward planning, and above all, rigid job protection. Thus, in return for an average level of crime per annum, the thieves themselves saw to it that unauthorized crime was met with the full force of injustice, which was generally a stick with nails in it. Hello? Mudo, it's a visitor, isn't it, Chucky? A visitor, Mudo, yes it is. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Come look here, come look here! Mr. Pencil Ed says hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> he said hello to us, Chucky. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Um, yes, uh, what might your name be? It's secret, eh? I can't tell you, but Mr. Flower knows. Oh, well, if you like, um... Hello, Mr. Flower. <laughs> what? He's all wet. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Excuse me, I think I must have missed something. Mr. Missed it? Missed it? Oh, oh, very good, very good. He's good, isn't he, Chucky? He's good, he's very good. Yes, he's very good indeed. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Are you all right? Oh, I'll be all right, Chucky. I'll be all right. Come look here, come look here. I think I'm just going to lie down for a little while. Look, I was wondering if I could get some information off you. Information? Information? More information, Chucky? More, uh, about lizards? About dragons, yes? Well, yes, all right. More dragons? More all about dragons then, Uncle? Look, could you just keep it down a little, please? Dragons, Chucky? More Chucky doesn't like dragons. Shut up! Quiet! Now just tell me what you know. Uh, I'm gonna tell what? What about the dragon? I'm gonna what? Dragon. The dragon that threatens the city. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Marie he knows about the dragon. Quiet! Dragon, Chucky, dragon! Now look. <laughs> Guess what I am now? Boring? No. No, guess again. A teapot. Yes, teapot. A teapot, Chucky. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Oh. Stop it. Stop acting insane. Insane? Did you say insane? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, Chucky doesn't like it when I'm called insane. My mother called me insane once. She said it right before she died. Ooh. Right. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Why do I always get the loons? The loons, boons, goons! <laughs> uh, you come to ask a boon? Look, 
Are you on treatment for this condition? Not a treatment? Treatment? Not a very clever, not a very clever, not a chucky likes treatment. Does pencil head not a want some treatment too? Now look, why don't you and your puppet just go away? Anyway, what sort of treatment? <laughs> not a chucky likes his jokes. Oh, oh, chucky, chucky, chucky! This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. So, I hope you've come here on pleasant business. Um, yeah. Yeah, well. Non-disruptive business. Reliable, solid business. Rather than mere disruptive rumour mongering. Would I be right? Rumour mongering, solid business, um... Maybe. Well, are you or aren't you? Make up your mind. So, uh, you wouldn't consider anything dragony at all to be... Valid. Valid conversation. Hmm. In a nutshell, I think. Yes, 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 I see your point. Um, if, however, just for argument's sake... Argument? Well, I say argument, more a, a suppositionary discussion, really, but... If something, say, vaguely reptilian were actually to creep into the conversation... Yes? ...and the weather being seasonal, a flame or even fire-breathing theme were to, as it were, intrude across into the subject... Uh. Yes. Yes, I see your point. Hmm. Well, well, you see where that begins to lead us, then? Quite. Quite. Yes, yes quite right. Well, I think this sort of information deserves a very thorough treatment. Ah! Exactly so. Perhaps the dungeon's information retrieval technicians might be willing to offer their services in such a case. Refresh your memory of details, that sort of thing. Ah, information retrieval technicians. Yes, they're the ones. The ones with racks and windlasses and, and that long sort of bent thing that they poke. Ah, now you're with me. All supposition, of course. Yes, yes, as you, as you say. In any case. Was there anything you wished to broach with me at all? Taxes, law reforms, dragons? Dragon? Goodness, no! What dragon? Exactly. We'll let it rest there then, shall we? Don't let me detain you. Yes, yes, no, no need to stretch the point. Have you any idea how difficult it is to get through to see you? Not really. Funnily enough, I've never had cause to do it, you see. Well, I think it's appalling. Whatever happened to open government? Well... Since you put it like that, the last ruler who tried it ended up extremely open. I still find it odd that a genuine wizard can hardly get in to see you. I mean, what if there's signs or portents or something? You're blocking traditional seer's routes of egress. Well, I always look on inaccessibility as being a measure of the man. Supply and demand, that sort of thing. Still, now you're here... At last. Quite. Well, now you're here. We should extend you some hospitality. A little refreshment, maybe even a quick whiz around the palace. A walk along the highly dangerous battlements. Or a brief tour of the dungeons, perhaps. Ah, no, 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 you're a busy man. Exactly. Serious business. Well, yes. Really? What? Well, that is... Um... Now listen to me. There are no such things as dragons. They are a physical impossibility. Mm. No ifs, buts, or maybes. I've had enough. The next person who mentions dragons in my presence will be off for a trip to the information gathering technicians. Extremely quickly. Well, uh, I, I just thought... Yeah. Oh, right you are then. Look, I'll just go and stand over here then, all right? That doesn't work. Last time I saw a ring as big as that, there were druids dancing round it. Doesn't work. Yes, definitely a hat stand. 
Ah, the jumbo size. Love those lampwicks. ask you some questions. Clear off! And no magic in the kitchen! One more spell goes off in this place and I'm going to complain to the Arch-Chancellor! Are you always this surly? Not always! I even know a jolly joke! Really? Yes! What's ugly, hollow and rings like a bell? I don't know. What? Look over there! Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Well, that's a fine skill to have. Your parents must be very proud of you. Actually, I was going to become a wizard, but they found out my parents were married. Fascinating. Don't any of your pancakes get lost? What? From here? From my frying pan? You don't seem to realise the gravity of your accusation. 27 years I've been studying to be a cook's apprentice. I've got top marks for basic flipping left hand and right, and batter stirring, pan greasing and pancake stacking. Oh, how many did you get for customer relations? Two percent. Clear off. This is the worst kitchen I've ever seen. It would be worse. If there were worst... What's worst? It's a what's name? Uh, a sausage. Worst sausage? No, if you want the worst sausage, try Dibblers. Oh, dear. So it's to be pans, is it? Just watch the pancakes for a while. It's very soothing. Well, I'll catch you later then. 